Brussels says it's preparing for some difficult months ahead in its energy sector. EU ministers in this field met on Monday for an extraordinary meeting to discuss the bloc's strategy after Russia decided to cut off gas to Poland and Bulgaria last week. Now the EU is working to ensure the continent's gas storage will be full by autumn. It's currently at 32% and according to the commissioner in charge of energy, Kadri Simpson, any member state could be the next victim of Moscow's energy cuts. Brussels is also working in parallel on a sixth package of sanctions against Russia that will focus on a phased-out embargo of oil. Germany, one of the main opponents, is now agreeing to it. After two months of work, I can say Germany is not against an oil ban on Russia. Of course, it is a heavy load to bear, but we are ready to do that. We have to prepare the harbors, we have to prepare the pipelines, so time is helpful. Um, but I think other countries have bigger problems. The proposal could be announced by the European Commission as soon as Tuesday. But for some experts, the plan must be handled with care, as it has the potential to backfire. If we are now moving to sanction Russian oil with a gradual embargo, Russia might respond immediately by saying, OK, then we cut the gas. And uh, leaving Russia this uh, strategic game at end uh, might not be the best uh, option for the EU. It might be better for the EU to put a tariff immediately on both oil and gas coming from Russia into the European Union. Some countries are instead calling for a punitive import tax on Russian energy rather than an embargo. Chris Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.